Listen, I've been playing with makeup today and I put on lipstick and then it, it stained my lips and now I'm pink and I don't want you to talk about it. All right, it's not even that noticeable, but I feel weird and it's just it's too late because now I'm pink and like I need to record so you're gonna have to be nice to me. Okay, please. Thank you <laughs> But today shocker we are attempting a build challenge in the Sims 4 happy speed build Sunday everybody Today I'm going to try and build a very large family home But on a budget now I built this base game house with just 45,000 simoleons and it's five bedrooms And that's pretty huge five bedrooms four bathrooms for 45,000 simoleons is like kind of big and it doesn't even look bad like it I know a lot of houses oftentimes when you kind of get stuck with cheap base game budgets can look really sad and I have built in my day many a sad blue suburban <laughs> that are cheap homes for stuff like this and I was like you know what no just because your sims aren't rich does not mean that you don't deserve a nice house and so for people that have like five bedrooms necessary like you've got a bunch of kids like presumably like six or seven sims could live in this house and so you probably have like around 45k at this point you start out with 20 and like you you'll be fine affording this place it is definitely a reasonable house I built a lot of places that are not so reasonable in the sims we know this most of the houses I make you definitely can't play in without cheats but not today this one you can actually afford and it's base game so you can actually play in it if you want to because I know you all have this pack at least. <laughs> you're not gonna be missing any objects or anything so you're welcome. I, Lil Simsy, am doing the Lord's work. What would you do without me? <laughs> but everyone in my Twitch chat was like, this isn't cheap, it's 45k and I was like, it's a five bedroom house. Like what do you mean? What What are you expecting? You want like a, a two bedroom house? I, I, I mean... <sighs> Anyway, 45k, I think, for a house of this size is very reasonable. I just can imagine myself, like, when I'm playing with a legacy family, because we all know I love a good legacy challenge in The Sims 4. Basically what that is, you start out with one sim and the biggest lot in the game and 1,800 simoleons, and then you can buy them, like, a bed and a fridge and a toilet and maybe an easel if you're lucky, and then you use that and that's all you have. <laughs> and then you try and make money from the ground up and like you start out with nothing and kind of build this big house and family over supposedly 10 generations. That's the whole point is to like play with this family for 10 generations. And it's so fun. I love this. I love this challenge. But the thing is because you end up with no money because you start out with nothing, it takes a long time to get a nice house going. And this is the kind of house where like you could just grind away and do some painting and then you could afford a house like this. But you kind of usually in this challenge sort of build on to like you make a box and then like add a bedroom and when you get enough money and then you add a bathroom and then you kind of like keep growing the house and then it gets to a certain point where the freak house you have is just not gonna cut it anymore so you need to bulldoze it and build something new and this is the kind of thing that I would want because it's pretty it's cheap and like it doesn't look cheap <laughs> which is I think the main problem I have with houses that are not very many simoleons in the sims because I don't like to have a sad looking house especially on the outside and landscaping is always an issue we know this landscaping is expensive in the sims and you just can't really justify like spending all your money and making the outside look nice when you don't even have like a real kitchen and so you just don't have any landscaping for so long but they finally added a thing called live edit objects, okay? This is a new cheat they added in an update a few months ago. And essentially, it's another form of debug. There's like two layers to debug now. And the first one, if you don't know what debug is, basically it's a cheat where you type in bb.show hidden objects and then it unlocks all of the like unlockable things in the game. So you could find all of like the, the random collectibles your sims could find and all kinds of stuff like that. You could unlock and debug. And then if you type in bb.show live edit objects on top of that, it opens up all all the world edit objects so like all the plants that the world creators have used like you know in the area surrounding your house that cheat unlocks them so you can actually use them and they're all free <laughs> which is the best part now they're kind of glitchy and not actually made to be used in game because they're like poly counts are weird and stuff like that and your sims like walk straight through them but that's okay at least they're free and they look really good too. I mean some of them don't look very good, but most of them look pretty good And so you can use those things in your sims build and they're free and like yeah You have to cheat for them, but also it's a landscaping cheat like I don't feel bad about cheating for landscaping in the sims Like it's one thing to do a money cheat and then like buy a really expensive computer and fridge and like have your sims gain skills faster and stuff Like to buy like the most expensive bed and your sims need to sleep less That's kind of cheating because it like actually affects your sims daily life and your gameplay and things But when you're cheating for like cosmetic stuff like landscaping It's the same thing as using like cast custom content I feel like you know like who cares if your sim has a cc hairstyle or like 
a random free plant in her front yard. I just don't want to suffer through, like, the ugly outside of your house. Plus, especially, like, in real life, the chances of having a house with, li like, a big empty lot, like, this with literally nothing growing on it, like, there's gonna be a tree or something in real life, you know, like, there's, there's grass around, like, you don't just have, like, these big flat lots, like, literally completely flat lots in real life. There's plants places, okay? There are plants in real life believe it or not. <laughs> and so I hate playing in these empty builds, and so I use debug to make the landscaping. So from the outside, you definitely cannot tell this house is cheap. That's the whole point that I'm trying to make, is this house doesn't look like a cheap house. And obviously there are things inside, like the cheapest bathroom stuff and the cheapest fridge and stuff, which kind of sucks, but like, that's the kind of thing where as your sims grow and as their family grows and you get more money, you can upgrade the fridge, you know? And you don't need to have the most expensive one right now. And so I, I kind of cut some corners with the fridge. <laughs> but there is a computer here, there's a whole office, Everything you could possibly need, you've got it in this house. And I was proud of myself, so you're welcome. But I did it. And I had fun doing it too. I've been building so many like family starter homes and also base game houses this week because SimGuru Frost challenged me to build a four bedroom, two bathroom, 20,000 simoleon house. And I did that twice this week. Like I made a video on it and then the next day I was like, I can do better and I did it again. And so I've done that twice this week. <laughs> I built like a 10,000 simoleon house yesterday just for fun. Didn't even post it anywhere. I just built it for fun. I built this on stream. Like I just keep building these like cheaper challenge houses. This one's kind of expensive compared to those. Like a 20,000 simoleon four bedroom house is a little bit different than a 40,000 simoleon five bedroom house. Um, just, just like a little bit different. There's like a few more objects in this place. <laughs> it's like, like three times the size of that house too. It's, it's a little bit bigger and more furnished, but I've been having a lot of fun doing that kind of thing. I just, I really love to build in The Sims. I know you guys know this about me because I make like a million build videos, but I really like to do build challenges and I like to just make houses. I mean, be it like big expensive, like trying to recreate a real life house or like stuff like this where I'm just kind of trying to make like cheap houses for gameplay. I don't really play the game very much anymore. Like as far as like making a salmon and playing out their lives. I mostly just build now, but like, I, I still have so many fond memories of playing the game that I build houses and I have like in my head I'm like oh this sim could live here and she's a painter and she's got this family and two kids and I like I always invent these stupid stories for my sims because I don't actually play with them but I build so many things that I like to imagine how I would play with them you know I miss playing the sims a little bit but I also really like to build so and I'm busy like I don't have time to play the sims in my free time I play minecraft in my free time <laughs> you guys don't understand I have like an unhealthy Minecraft obsession right now. I had a dream about Minecraft last night. Like, I literally had a dream about Minecraft. Like, when I woke up this morning, I was like, oh my god. Because I kind of, I woke up at like 5 a.m. Listen, I keep waking up in the middle of the night feeling really anxious. It's a whole thing. But it happened again today. And I woke up at like 5 a.m. because my cat was sitting on me. Um, and then I was really anxious because I felt like I couldn't breathe and it was a whole thing. But you know, it'd be like that sometimes. But I had had dreams about Minecraft before I woke up. And when I woke up, I was like, really? <laughs> like in my Minecraft dreams, I was like falling off cliffs in Minecraft and there was like lava pits at the bottom. It was a whole thing, which is kind of spooky, honestly, hence the anxiety, but like it was Minecraft, which is the embarrassing part. <laughs> like cliff falling? Yeah, scary. Like we get it, Simsy, you're stressed. Um, but Minecraft cliff falling? That's just embarrassing. Like, come on, you know, come on. <sighs> I'm fine, really, I swear. <laughs> the other night, I, I spent a long time, so on Friday night, because I finally had some free time, I spent a long time, I have a new survival save I'm playing. I Listen, I love Minecraft, I can't stop. I've had like years of Minecraft obsession that kind of goes through phases, and I'm back in a big old Minecraft phase right now. Like, I've been watching so many Smallish Beans videos, and listen, I love Joel. Like, I, I haven't watched his videos since like high school though. Like, <laughs> and I started watching, I watched all of his Kingdom Craft series and like a bunch of his other build videos. I'm like obsessed with Minecraft again. It's really bad, but in a good way. Anyway, so I have a new survival save in Minecraft and then I watched 90 Day Fiance for like three hours and played Minecraft on Friday night. And that was a really good day. I needed that. I haven't had time to just like hang out by myself and, and play some Minecraft and watch some 90 Day Fiance in a while. And I, I needed that break. I needed that. I really did. <laughs> you guys, 90 Day Fiance is the weirdest thing. I mean, I've, I've seen one season already, but I started watching another one. And the concept of the show, if you don't know what it is, essentially, 
it's these long distance couples and they've all met like once before and then they got engaged like the first time they met in person so they've had like online relationships for months and then they meet in person one time and then they come back and then they get engaged and then they have a, a visa that makes them come to the US and they have 90 days to get married unless they have to leave and so <laughs> when they come here it's like their first time actually spending time together in person and it's like obviously kind of scripted I think a lot of them are already married and they're just kind of like acting it out for the show but it's so ridiculous and like the kind of fights they have are so dumb and the like the lines they come out with like one of the guys the whole premise was that he's like a big tough guy he likes sports he watches the game and like he's got this new girlfriend fiance whatever um and she's coming over and he's like yeah I don't really cook I don't clean the kitchen I don't do dishes I just watch the game and that's his whole thing and then <laughs> but, like it's the first morning that she's there she wakes up and goes in the kitchen there's just like dishes everywhere in the sink and she's like hey like, what's going on here? Have you cleaned these in, like, weeks? And he's like, no, I, I gotta watch the game. And she's like, but the dishes. And he's like, but, but the game's on. And that was their whole thing. And then, and then, this man has the audacity to say, and direct quote, by the way, I'm the king of the bedroom, you're the queen of the kitchen. I just, oh my god, you guys, I was losing my mind. This show is ridiculous. Like, these people are insane. I'm the king of the bedroom, you're the queen of the kitchen. What? I gotta watch the game. Like, I just, I couldn't believe it. I really couldn't. And then one of the women, she, like, threw a fit because the guy brought her, like, a big old bouquet of... Oh? He brought her, like, this big bouquet of flowers, and they weren't just roses. She was expecting just roses, but they had, like, sunflowers in it, too. And she was like, oh, my God, where are my roses? And he's like, there are roses in it. And she got mad still. And then she was like, is the diamond even real in my ring? And then it was, like, this whole thing. It just, these people are ridiculous. And again, obviously, it's played up for the show, but, like... <laughs> What are you doing? Honestly, what are you doing? But I've been having a really good time. I really liked watching that season. It's on Hulu. If you're interested in 90 Day Fiance, I love some good trash reality TV. Because sometimes, like, when you're really stressed, sometimes you just don't really want to watch, like, a heavy thing. You know, like, I don't need to be watching, like, documentaries right now. You know, or, like, any kind of, like, heavy, like, TV show. Like, like I don't know, like, actual, like, I don't know, story-based shows where, like, they kind of have, like, darker storylines that are stressful and things. People, like, die in them. Like, I don't need to have that. I just need some light-hearted 90-day <laughs> fiancé, like, just trash television. And it's not even trash. It's very high quality. I really enjoy that show. I would recommend it to you. I don't watch much TV, and when I do, it's stuff like that. Although, I, I've been watching The Great British Bake Off this season, obviously. I like that show, too. So... I mean, there's that. <laughs> if you guys don't know, I recommend that show also. My, my two favorite shows right now are 90 Day Fiance and Great British Bake Off. Also, Lil Simsy Sims videos on YouTube. She's my favorite simmer. So, anyway, you'll see that I gave myself some more money because originally I was starting out with 40,000 simoleons. Back to the house, by the way. But I started out with 40k and then I had furnished and finished the whole house. And I was like, you know what? 40k is like barely not cutting it. Like, I think this house is just kind of ugly on the inside. Like, I hated the kitchen. The upstairs hallway wasn't furnished. And I was like, if I had, like, 5,000 more simoleons, I could actually get a real kitchen. And then I could, you know, put some furniture upstairs. Like, I, I figured it was worth it. And so I made it to 45k instead of 40, which isn't, like, that much more expensive, to be honest. Again, for a five-bedroom house, like, that's, it's nothing, it's nothing, and so I upped the budget a tiny bit, and then I furnished it that way, but this way that upstairs actually has stuff in it, because before it had nothing in it, so there's that. I figure if you were playing in this place for real, like, I might turn this upstairs into, like, more of a skill building area for my kids, or I might put more things, like, an easel or something, like, if I needed a space for my sims to work, because there is an office downstairs, but you could always use that space for something else, like, if you needed more things. Maybe, like, another computer, because if you've got five bedrooms, you probably have, like, six or seven sims here. And sometimes one computer doesn't cut it, because you might have, like, a writer and a programmer, and they're always fighting for computer time. You need to have two, so you can put it upstairs. That's just my, my mindset. And there's, like, a weird spot where there's an easel in this tiny room, and it's kind of like a mini studio in my head. And it's because of the way the roof was clipping, because I had a little bit of the stairs open, and because of the glitching with roof clipping in the sims, uh, I literally couldn't hide it. And so I made it a room so it would stop glitching. <laughs> and so it's this tiny like closet like room that I put an easel in but you could always make it a little bit bigger and make it into like a nursery or a bathroom or something but for now there's just like an easel and a plant in there it's kind of cute though I liked the idea of that like a more private art studio because whoever lives here apparently they're big into art as so they made their money 
like in my head it's a legacy challenge house and so you've got this mom who's been painting and that's all she does she just paints over and over and over again and she makes a lot of money from it but she needs a spot to do it so she has a tiny little closet room upstairs <laughs> you know my sister built a house on my channel she called it a baby closet she made like this tiny room and put a baby in it and she was like it's the baby closet that's what that is it's the paint closet though yeah my sister and I have made like two videos on my channel and they're both really good if you can find them <laughs> I suggest watching them. It might be worth it, but I actually cut out the landscaping So the video is almost done I know I talked about the landscaping a lot in the beginning of the video But like most of that footage of the landscaping was just me digging through the catalog trying to find stuff Because it's not organized by anything So you kind of have to like search for for landscaping stuff and it took forever So I cut that all out, but as you can see the house is finished and it turned out really really cute I was kind of proud of myself. I'm not gonna lie. It's almost my gallery though so please check it out and make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe and do all those fun YouTube things and in case you guys didn't know I post new videos every single day and so I will see you all tomorrow <laughs> bye everybody I still can't stop thinking about Minecraft it's all I want to do I really I want to play Minecraft so bad please help <laughs>